honored at the dinner on Saturday night. This gentleman is the first state legislator to ever receive a CBC award. Come on, y'all. He is the first state legislator to ever receive a Congressional Black Caucus Award. He is an outstanding, distinguished legislator in the state of Georgia. He is also the president of the National Black Caucus of State Legislators. And he has been a tremendous advocate for self-determination and statehood for the District of Columbia. The District of Columbia is, pr is proud to honor and present a resolution to Representative Calvin Smiley. Please come up, Representative Smiley. I'm not going to read all the whereases, but when you have a career as distinguished as, Cal as Calvin Smiley, there is a long list of things that could be said about what he has done for people. I have to tell you this, I've been involved with NBCSL since uh, last, last July of 2008 actively, and every time there's been an opportunity, President Smiley, Representative Smiley has opened the door to give the District of Columbia an opportunity to talk about who we are and what we do. So Representative Smiley, we are proud to honor you Resolved by the Council of the District of Columbia that this resolution may be cited as the Honorable Calvin Smiley Recognition Resolution of 2009 in recognition of your great service over 34 years, I think it is, and also being honored as the first state legislator to receive an award from the Congressional Black Caucus. Let's give it up for Representative Calvin Smiley. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, this award. Uh, we shall get the members of the, of the of District of Columbia. We shall get the respect to the members of the District of Columbia in the back. We shall get some respect to the members of the D.C. Council in the back. But I want to thank uh, the members of the District of Columbia and Vincent Gray for this award. Uh, we have 600 plus legislators from 42 states, including the Virgin Islands and the District of Columbia. And the reason we included the District of Columbia is because we feel very strongly that D.C. ought to be a state. And we will not let that go until we get it. So we're going to continue to lobby on Capitol Hill, uh, D.C., uh, the District of Columbia, and the members that you see here have earned the right to be represented in the United States Congress yes. in more ways than one. And so we're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to our continued relationship. And I want to thank all of my members that are here tonight. We appreciate the fact that you're here and uh, the fact that you're participating. This is my 32nd, my 32nd Congressional Black Caucus weekend. And I'm looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to Saturday night. God. Support. I got a new kidney, and uh, February is working well.
we have learned from it is that we were ready to hear something that was positive about the black family. We always hear the negative about the black family. And that's why we say we have to speak up for the people we are and for our contribution has made. And we can't let other people define us. We have to define ourselves. It could not have happened without the support of the mayor, the bond of the city. But especially now, I appreciate what the city council is doing. Because when we look at our children and help our as we're doing, as Mrs. Barry is doing with the initiative committee here in the district, when we help our children, the children we help today will be the leaders for tomorrow. Many of us will not be here. But they, the, they will be the leaders for tomorrow. That's right. And we have to bear that in mind. And so it means something very special to me at this late date in my life to be honored by the Council of the District of Columbia and to let you know that I appreciate not only your leadership, but your interest and your support. And you know, to see the Council speak up for children means a great deal because our children need everything that we can do and everything that we can give. But what we give to them will come back to us, will come back to those in the future. So I want to thank you. I appreciate this. I will cherish, I will cherish this citation and have it in my office. And you know, because I'm also a New Yorker. I didn't, I didn't think I could make it, but I've made it here. And now I am a happy co-owner of the District of Columbia. Yeah, um, and now standing...